Hello, welcome to my studio in Kent. Broadstairs, Ramsgate and Margate is about eight miles that way. London's about 71 miles that way and Canterbury's about nine miles that way. And I live just across the courtyard and there's a barn here. We're in a lovely courtyard. And when we bought the house, these two buildings here were double car parking ports. And uh, we filled them in and we turned them into my studios. Come and have a look. Welcome in. So, this is my playroom, I suppose. Um, and it's so brilliant because I'm a workaholic. I can work till I'm about to drop and then just fall across the courtyard and go to sleep. Essentially, this is my kiln. This is what makes it all possible. This is um, a kiln. I had a kiln in London for 30 years that I fired over 2,000 times, uh, made by Jan Komar man in Stoke-on-Trent and when we moved here I asked him to make another one so this is an exact copy actually it's a trolley kiln so the whole floor of the kiln can wheel out if I need it to this is a loose pack so once these are these are drying at the moment once they're biscuit hired they can get lifted out and all this furniture all these pillars and things get stacked to the side so the inside space is a very versatile chamber it's an electric kiln and we had three phase dug across the road and up through the courtyard, underground, and then all around the buildings to get it to here. So just close the kiln. And um, here's my glaze room. Everything's on trolleys, or a lot of things are on trolleys, which makes life easy for drying things and moving things. And essentially these are all my buckets of glazes, already mixed, ready to use. And I've got a facility over to here to mix new glazes. And then coming through here, come on through. This is really where I make. It's south facing, I've had lovely blinds made to reflect the light out because it gets quite hot. Thinking of having an awning made. And essentially I had a local company make the shelves and the benches, but again, they're all on wheels. Everything's very versatile so that I can make big things or small things as I like. And at the moment, in this time of isolation in this sanctuary of our home, I'm trying to focus on making new and unknown things uh, because I think uh, it's a quiet time. Normally I'm traveling and lecturing and doing things. Here in isolation I've decided to focus and try and step out. And so this is a piece where I started it, I didn't know what it was going to be like. It's still not finished. I don't know if it's a fountain or a lamp or a, or a sculptural piece. There's a, there's a pot inside here and obviously it's based on a tree in blossom. These pieces are based on daffodils, you can get daffodils in the garden. And uh, essentially I feel really lucky to have this place to focus and be creative, try to be creative. Obviously it's quite difficult at this time um, to make things that I hope you'll see in the future. <laughs>